Hey, y'all can't see my reflection too well. Anyway, I'm at Bradley Ball, and it's a park We're way up in the mountains. I'm gonna take a little bit of footage and uh, let y'all see what it is up in these mountains, man. I'm telling you right now, nosebleed section. This is way up there. You have to keep swallowing so your ears can pop. But check it out. This is Mr. DJ Dark Dice with OHPTV. I got you. What's up with that? Good morning, y'all. We at Brass Town Ball. We up here way up in the mountains, man. I'm telling you. Talk about nosebleed. Forget all that. We way up here. I think I just seen St. Paul in the kitchen. Anyway, I'm going to get y'all some good footage up here in these hills, up in these mountains. So that is Mount Mitchell in North Carolina, uh, 6,684 feet. That's also the highest point of Georgia. Mississippi Thank you. The highest point of Georgia, you just said. On a clear day here, you can see the skyline of Atlanta from here. Wow. Miles away as the crow flies. You're not going to see it today because of the blue haze out there. If you've been on the Appalachian Mountains before and you look out long distance, you see the blue haze out over the mountains. That's not all spot and pollution like a lot of people think. Most of that is called isobrene gas. It's ISO, P-R-E and A. It comes from decaying vegetation from trees and plants. And uh, when it's not there, you can see the skyline of Atlanta from here. There's seven pictures that was up on the desk of the museum. Two of them actually show the Georgia Dome on them. Um, we have a movie theater here, it has a 14 minute video, plays every hour and every half hour, it tells about the four seasons up here on the mountain. And it's different up here than it is in the lower areas around us. For example, it could be snowing up here, not snowing down below us. That happens a lot in the winter up here. So we have to shut down in the winter between about January 1st and okay. about April 1st because of the weather. Just can't get up here uh, because of the ice or snow. Uh, the highest temperature ever recorded here was 84 degrees. Uh, and this was 27 below zero. The highest wind was 85 miles an hour. Right here is where the pathway crosses the road from the parking lot. Going up to the tower is six tenths of a mile. It takes about 20 or 25 minutes to walk up. It's like climbing up a 42 story building. When you go up the stairwell, the movie theater is on the right side near the men's restroom. Museum is the big round building on the left side. Wow. And the stairwell going to the upper deck is around the back side of the movie theater. Uh, ready to come down on the north desk. Or you can walk down the path, starts over there on the left side by the brown box. And I expect they'll be picking y'all up right here. So y'all enjoy it. See you on the way down. Watch your step going out the door. Standing up there, and they get the picture. They get the picture angle from here. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. In the middle. Yeah, that one. 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 Yeah, that Look on the other side. Where do you get the little road that's there? Here's the dark area. There's no shadow, but where there is a cloud, there is shadow. Exactly. You're gonna be a detective. I ain't seen it. No, look. What's that? <laughs> Crown over here, and uh, over there. Hold on, do y'all realize that we're actually looking down on mountains? You gotta be real high to be looking down on a mountain. We at the we at the top, listen, this is the highest point in the United States, the way I'm understanding. Somebody just Google and Wikipedia this information. We understand this is the highest peak in Georgia, but Wikipedia says it's the highest point in the United States. Now y'all do y'all research, because I know I am once I get to the edit box, but for now, enjoy the view. I don't know if this is recorded. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Right there. It's something. I think it just stopped buzzing. No, let me say that again. You say it. No, say what you just said again. The water is this deep. The high so it is, the water is this deep. Like Mount Everest, that's the type turn it of, upside down, that's how deep the water is. So we just up, just think of matching how deep the water is. As high as we are, this is how deep the water is. And the look, ocean, yeah. let's say, this is what I need y'all to see, y'all. For four directions, the clouds, that's creepy. We, are in, we are in the midst of mountains. Four ways. Now you can trip off that, or you can just understand how small we are as people. And how big we are as spirits, because really you can connect to the spirits out here. You know, like the natives, I feel like I, they're out there somewhere. On horses with bow and arrows, I, I just really feel like that. And if you look real close and pay attention and zoom in, I don't know how high def y'all uh, equipment is. You might can zoom it in and see it. But look how far back it goes. And I mean, it's almost kissing the clouds. I mean, that's the way it looks. Where well, you see the Atlanta skyline? And with the advanced, you can see Atlanta skyline. This is amazing. Do y'all understand I'm doing a full revolution and everywhere you're looking, there's mountains. A full panoramic view and I, what, what you see, a bunch of mountains. That's what we do over here, OHP TV. We bring you exclusive 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, don't you look at me? Who's dude looking at me? Look at that big as head is. It's a horse fly. See, I feel like this thing right here rotates, and if it does, I need to be catching it. Man, get your shadow out of the man, your shadow's in the shot. That's so unprofessional. Okay. Did I just lay myself out? Cut. Can you go up that? Or you don't? No, because that stairwell was where that door is. Trade and you have to turn right. And you have to go right. And you have to go right. I knew it, I knew it. I saw my father kill the last deer in the North Georgia Get a picture of course. And I promised them to bring the deer back. But being a ranger gave me that chance. So first I bought three deer from a carnival. Then I went to the Pisa National Game Preserve in North Carolina, <laughs> and I bought five fawns, and I named them. All right, y'all. I hate to do it to y'all, but I got to do it. Yeah. In 1838, the Cherokees were forcibly removed from their homes 
and led by the U.S. Army under General Winfield Scott, aided by the Georgia Militia. They were imprisoned for months in large log walls, stockades before their trains returned to Oklahoma. The Trail of Tears took place in the fall of, and winter of 1838. The Indians were driven in a dozen, in a dozen groups over three overland trails and water routes. The most difficult route went overland to Tennessee, Kentucky, and Missouri. Over 645 wagons and teams transported the old men, women, and young children. Able-bodied Indians went on foot. The Cherokee people chugged 1,200 miles through a severe winter without sufficient food, clothing, or shelter. Chief Ross of the Cherokee Nation claimed that about 4,000 or one-fourth of the people died on the way to the reservation. Okay. I got six. The history is right there. I'm probably not going to get that information in high school, so we just got it from Mr. 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 J. Doc Dice. All right. OHPTV. What's up with that? Here, the Indian people had lost most of their lands in the east by 1820. The desire by settlers for expanded farmlands had led to numerous land concessions treaties by this time. In 1829, Dr. Benjamin Parks discovered gold in Georgia. The prospector was walking through the woods and kicked up some soil that looked like the yellow vinette. News of gold in North Georgia brought people from all across the United States who were eager to strike it rich in the nation's first gold rush. Legislative action by Georgia and the United States followed swiftly in December 1829 and May 1830. These new state laws confiscated all Indian lands and required Indians to be relocated in the West. Georgia's removal force. Look at that. The scattered Cherokee families were rounded up and brought to forts, stockades at six locations in Georgia. They stayed in the holding areas and so accounted for and travel plans completed. Now this is tragic. Huh? This is tragic. In 1839, a prospector panning for gold could take home $100 or nothing at the end of the day. So this is what happened. Okay, this is the aftermath of what the settlers after they got what they wanted. They're chilling. Close up. Put their women to work. Put their sons to work. Put the ground on, make the cheese. Settlers cabin. There it is. Y'all can do y'all research on this. I'm just giving y'all some information. All you smokers, you better just be aware. Smoking the bed watching you. Welcome to Brass Town Hall, baby. One time the uh, Forest Service Ranger lived there. Oh, wow, really? And he kept watch over all these mountains, but wow. now they use GPS and satellites for fire spotting. Last fire year spotting. we did have some people up there because we had some forest fires in mm. the area. Wow. But it's, we had hoped to make a museum out of it, but mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So so people lived up there, just go up there and watch? Like a sh They had a little apartment, they had a little bitty kitchen, but they lived down in the mountain, down here. Right, under right, it. right underneath their towers and apartments. Oh, wow. And look so, what that thing is. So this was built in 1965? Uh-huh. It's cut into the rock. Well, wow. all this was before then, but this is the final. That's the final, but this is when it originated. This right. was built in 1947. And it stayed until that one was built. The oh, rock okay. It was built in the 1930s, and it stayed till in the 1930s. Was. Yeah, and it stayed till this one came. But upstairs, up, they lived in the apartment down under. But if you had 24-hour duty, he could 
had a cot up there that he could lay down on. For the guards? Yeah. yeah. So it was interesting, and we would like to have been able to make a museum, but it's just too complicated and oh, too really? many uh, things. Too much government red tape. Mm. Really. You have so to so have was this tower ever justified? I mean, we stop any fires? Oh, sure. yeah. Caught yeah. some fires? Yeah. That's how they used to locate the fires. Mm. Uh, they would by watch the tower. They'd watch all the mountains. They've smoke. got a big instrument in the middle up there that they take around and sight on it, and they get a, a direction from that. What would and cause? They call it in. What would what would cause a natural fire like that? Lightning. lightning does Most of it's lightning. Okay. There's some chemical reactions every once in a while, but that's just. Because I know they got dry land in California, but over here there's a lot of moisture. So. Most of yeah. the forest fires today are Man. stupid humans. Yeah. Y'all hear it? Fires that they don't put out. Y'all yeah, behave y'all. Have y'all ever saved somebody from that, though? I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't. I'm sure they probably did, but we don't know about it. So. Yes, we're going to do something right quick. Do y'all remember Smokey's rule? All right, it's number one rule. Only you can prevent <laughs> wildfires. Smokey rule number two. Always be careful with fires. Smokey's rule number three. Never play with matches or lighters. Smokey's rule number four. Always watch your campfire. Smokey's rule number five. Make sure your campfire is completely out before leaving it. Okay, y'all can study this and remember this, practice this, and you will be doing your part on preventing forest fires. The Smokey the Bear is watching. Going down is going to be a lot faster than going up because we rode the shuttle up now, freaking walking down. <laughs>